All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our first color theme. And I have gotten a lot of requests for some blues. So we're gonna do my favorite color combination, which is blues and copper. Just because that's a one that I like to do. And like I said, I've had a lot of requests for blues, so. And then we may do some neons today. I was thinking it might be fun to do some neons. Like I have all these neon colors. So I thought it might be fun to try those too. Let's get some more lighting. Ooh, that's much better. There we go. That works better. You wanna do some blues and browns? Okay, well I was gonna do some blues. So let's go ahead and add some browns. That's one that I haven't tried and I think that would actually be really cool. So let's do some browns with our copper. Um, okay. Let's do a little touch of gold. Yeah. This will be interesting to try. I've never tried it with a brown before, so this will be fun. All right, let's see. We've got these. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's go ahead and do half of these guys as cells. Because I think that's what everyone likes the best. So let's do four. Let's do four cells. All right, we're gonna start mixing. Here's our gold. And our brown. This is actually, it's burnt umber. This is a really pretty brown. I really like this brown. Actually, you know what? We may make this eight colors. I do have another brown, sienna brown. I think we should definitely do that one too. So I'm going to do kind of a random mix of the ones we're going to use cells on, and then we'll start blending them together. But these should be some good colors. Blue and copper always looks great, but also adding brown, that's going to be really fun. All right, let's do copper. And this is going to be painting number one. It's an 11 by 14. All right. So like I said, we're going to do half and half. So we'll do cells in those. So we're going to use our cell medium for half of these guys. Okay. And then we're going to use our silicone drops for the other two colors. I love these coppers. It's so pretty. So there's our copper. This is our burnt umber brown. Here is our metallic cobalt blue. And then we've got our gold. So we did half silicone drops and half cell medium in these guys. All right. I think this is going to be pretty. Like I said, this is not one that I've tried, but those usually end up being the best. So I just added a sienna, which is a brown. I'm going to go ahead and add my copper. Because 
because we got to have the copper. Copper is always essential. And these colors look really good in the cup already. We may just try some metallics and browns later. I think that might be kind of cool. All right, and then here's one of our other blues that is not mixed with cells because we did half with cells and half without because we like that color combination. Oop, watch out, copper. All right. And then we're going to add our cobalt blue metallic that we mixed with our cell medium. Oh my gosh, we're going to run out of room in our cup. You know what? I'm going to do... Here's our turquoise. Actually, okay, this looks just about perfect. All right, and then we're going to add our blue. And we did do half and half of as far as cells go. All right. Let's take a close up look of our cup and then we'll get started and mix it up. So this will be a fun combination. This is one I haven't tried. This is going to be blues and browns. You can see the copper, the metallics. I think this is going to be really pretty. Oh, sorry, uh, Angela. We um, do live paintings and then I auction them off. They all start at five bucks and um, yeah, we take color suggestions and main suggestions. It's fun to watch, but if you have any questions, just put them in the chat. Okay, so this is gonna be painting number one, guys. This is an 11 by 14. And this is gonna be really cool because this is our uh, standard blue and copper colors, but we added brown this time. We added two colors of brown. So this one's going to be pretty neat, I think. So we're going to go ahead and let that go to the bottom of the cup, and then we're going to do our reveal. Yes, earth tones. Very much earth tones, I think. Plus our metallics. We've got gold. We've got... Co oh, I need to write these down before I forget what we used. Keep the bad records. Gold, copper, sienna, burnt umber, cobalt, metallic blue. We use turquoise. We use the tallow blue. And then we also used our bright blue. So we have lots of nice colors in this one. So I'm going to put that down there because we like to keep track of our colors here. Cells, exactly. We're going to have some more jingle cells today. Yeah, they're kind of fun to watch because um, you never know how they're going to end up. I always have a preconceived notion uh, based on the colors that I pick. Oh, this is going to, you know, look like this and this is going to look like that. But they always end up different. Ooh, look at the cup. Sometimes the cup is its own art. Look at that. The browns and the blues. Those are really pretty colors. All right, we'll do a close up of this guy and then we'll start swishing. And you can already see the cells forming. Ooh. Look at all those jingle cells. I'm going to start unplugging that ice machine. That's annoying. All right. Ooh, look at this. I am loving this. Oh my gosh. I have to start using browns all the time with my blues and coppers. I 
I am loving this. I cannot believe I haven't used the browns before with this. That was an, um, just a great suggestion. Because, yeah, I usually just use coppers and like copper and gold, maybe a little bit of orange sometimes to bring the copper out. But this is stunning. I love this. What a great idea. Wow. This is one we definitely need to try again. Which is why I try to write them down for us to have excellent notes. All right. Wow. Yeah, I love this. This looks, you know, we always say a lot of them end up looking kind of like the ocean, but this one really looks like the ocean to me. Wow. I'm making a pot roast today. It smells so good. I love pot roast in a crock pot. Anything in a crock pot is awesome. Hey, Teresa. Oh my gosh, it does. That's what everyone is thinking. I'm going to go ahead and write that down as a name suggestion. Is Google Earth. All right, let's take a look at it. I love pot roast too. Pot roast is so good. And I like to just set it and forget it. Do you guys remember those Ronco commercials? But I put it in a crock pot. So good. Ooh, look at these cells. It's got mini cells coming out of it. Like copper mini cells. This is gorgeous. I love this. And then you can kind of see the marbling here too. Wow. That's cool. It almost looks like geodes. Okay, we can look at it again as a whole. Look at that though. Look at those cells. That is, ooh, I love that. All right, let's go down so we can do our close up. And then I'll write down names. That's pretty. Google Earth is a good idea. Sure. And then Heaven's Ocean. Inlands from Google. Little Islands, Golden Islands, Geode Earth, Coastline Shores, Hawaii in the Sky. You're thinking Grand Canyon? Yeah, it's weird how it comes out, you know? Like, you have an idea in your head. Okay, these colors will be like this theme. But then they always they always just do that. Let's take a closer look at this guy, and then we'll auction it off. But that way you guys can see the cool cells. There's, like, cells within cells. Jingle cells, jingle cells. I just love the ones with the gold and the copper coming out. That's so cool. And I feel like the brown is like right here, kind of in this like center stripe. That's cool. Awesome. Exactly. You just never know. All right. This is painting number one. So we'll go ahead and start this guy off. Um, and this is an 11 by 14, uh, canvas. And of course it does take 24 to 48 hours to dry. It can take a little longer. Um, it just depends. And then I also spray it with this beautiful resin spray and sealer. So that way it stays nice and glossy for you. And it also stays protected so that it's easy to clean. Um, you know, 
Otherwise, it would get a lot of dust on it. And like I said, it, it kind of restores that glossiness to it. So that one is really pretty. And I wrote down the theme for that one. So that way, if we want to duplicate that guy again, that we definitely can. Because I'm really, really impressed with the way these colors came out. Um, I never thought to mix blue and brown. But uh, I'm going to put a little star by this one because we really like this. Yeah, we could definitely do this color theme again if you guys would like. It's totally up to you. Oh, hey, Nova Fine. We just uh, came up with this great color combination. We may have to do it again. I don't know. We can do whatever. Congratulations, honey. Yay, you won the painting. Um, and for anybody that's new that doesn't understand how this works, you also have the option to add uh, some glass pieces. And we have these pieces. We have um, this is clear or silver. Could be either one. And then we've, or, well, that's those are too chunky. That's more for resin. Um, then we have this gold like smaller pieces of glass. And then we also have glass in light pink. And we also have glass in light blue. And after you win the painting, then you get to decide if you want glass on the painting. And then we also um, ask for you to name the painting. So you can put like glass um, kind of along the side of it. I can show you what it looks like. This is the one that we did the other night. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. This is how it dried, if any of you guys remember this one. And we did add glass to it. And so you can see the little pieces of glass here. Look at those cells. This painting is so cool. So just keep in mind that you can add a little bit of glass here. Um, but that's optional, of course. So, okay, so no glass, honey. Okay, so now you get to name the painting. Okay, now we have some suggestions or you can name your own painting. Totally up to you. Um, Google Earth, Heaven's Ocean, Inlands from Google, Little Islands, Golden Islands, Geode Earth, Coastline Shores, and Hawaii in the Sky. Google Earth. Awesome. Congratulations, honey. I hope that you love this painting and it makes you feel happy when you look at the painting. That's the goal. Google Earth. I love it. Very appropriate, too. So you guys want to try that again with more brown? These are some gorgeous colors. Look at that. And look at these cells. This is beautiful. What a great color combo. Yes, that color combination was awesome. Okay, so you want to, let's try it with more browns. Um, and then let's see. And then we'll try that color combo. Let me write it down. I like how we're getting into some of the browns today. That's fun. Teal. 
blue, fuchsia pink. Okay, we'll do that one next. We'll do that. We'll do brown, gold, teal, blue, and fuchsia pink for painting number three. And then for painting number two, which we're doing next, we'll do the same colors with more brown. We'll see what happens when we add more brown to it. So I'm writing these guys down. So we can write down our formula. And I'm assuming that we want jingle cells on this one too. Do we want half cells or all cells? Okay, write that down. Ooh, interesting, one third cells. Let's try it. That we haven't done. Okay, so we're gonna use the same colors um, except we are going to do only a third cells and we're gonna go heavier on the browns this time. All right, so one third of the cells. So like two of them. Okay, you only do want to do cells in the browns. Let's try it. Let's try it. That's what I always say. Here's our burnt umber, which we really like. This is such a pretty chocolate brown. Let's get our tripod back up. Nice. And then we've got our sienna. And we're only doing cells in these two. There you go over there. We'll mix these guys together. So we're doing the same one as last time, but we're doing heavy emphasis on the browns in this one. Here's our gold, our glorious copper. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to be heavy on the browns. Barely got any room left for the blue, which is fine because that's what we're going for here. That's what we're attempting to do. All right, this is definitely heavy on the brown, so it'll be interesting to see the difference between this one and the last one for sure. And then we add our last blue. This is the exact same color combination, just a little different. All right, let's take a look at our cup. Yeah, no, we're going to do this one on um, a regular canvas, and this is going to be a 12 by 12. So let's see what we came up with here. This looks like nice and uh, rusty, you know? I'm excited for this one. Let's see what the difference is here. One, two, three. He's 
All right, let's take a close-up look at this. I am loving this color combination. Ooh. And there's our close-up before we swish it around. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Sometimes I just want to leave them as a circle on here because of the way that they look just poured out like this. It's like, I kind of just want to leave it how it is. I need to get some round canvases. I've been saying I'm going to do it and I haven't done that yet. I need to get some round canvases because I was thinking somebody in the uh, chat had this great suggestion that we should do like all the planets, you know, in uh, the circle canvases, make a thing of like all the planets. That would be so cool. All right. I love this. Look at this. And that turquoise and cobalt, I don't really see a lot of the darker blue, but I see a lot of this uh, turquoise and cobalt in this brown. This looks awesome. What a great color scheme. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Let me put that down and then we'll do a close up. That is pretty. That almost reminds me kind of like a Western sky. I don't know if that's even a thing. Well, that is pretty. And we only put cells in the brown. So we only put cells in two out of the, let's see how many colors we used again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we used eight colors, but we only put cells in the brown, and I really like it. Hey, Bex. We're just trying some new stuff here. Somebody suggested some blues and browns, and they've been turning out gorgeous. And you can see the copper coming through, and then you can kind of see, like, I don't know. Whatever that is, that's cool. And then you've got these really pretty cells just really in the this area. And I can kind of see some of the darker blue coming through in the cells. I like it. I like it. I like it as much as I like the other one. They're just different. Oh, awesome. Cool, Bex. Yeah, we need to, uh, we're going to be planning some events and stuff like that. It'll be really fun. That way we can all promote our art. Because there's a lot of talented people on Poshmark. Like, a lot of talented people. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'm just amazed at how the brown and the blue look together. Yeah, that one's really pretty, definitely. And I wrote down the color combination. I'm just going to make a note here that we went heavier, but it's the same color combination, but it also looks pretty when you go heavy on the brown. Honestly, I love it both ways. I'm going to make a little note there. Perfect. Yeah, I've got a torch. Um, those are fun. I love playing with fire. And I also have a heat gun, too. And sometimes I'll use my heat gun. It definitely will make some of the cells pop, for sure. Desert night sky. It looks like a female facing the darker brown colors. Let me see if I see that. Oh, I do see that. I do see that. Like the face. That's cool. 
Tiffany Chocolate, that's a good name. I see the ladies' profile with hair. Melting Milky Way. It does look like a Milky Way. Those are good candy bars. Arabian Nights. My pot roast that smells so good. Ugh. I'm so excited about my pot roast. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, let's take a look up close up again and see if you guys have seen anything else develop. The cells have gotten a little bit more developed, but it looks like that's pretty much what it's going to end up with. Is these as cells. Oh my God, that's awesome, Pinafore Couture. And it's hanging up. Oh my God, that's awesome. I really hope that you enjoy looking at it. These are really pretty colors. And paintings really brighten up a room, in my opinion. But obviously I'm a little biased. Um, but yeah, that one's really pretty. We can auction that off. Where is it? This is number two. Number two. Colors in Northern Lights. Um, I don't know. I've done a lot of different color combinations, but I don't know. That sounds really pretty. Yeah, you could definitely add glass to this one if you wanted to. There's certain places you could really add some pretty glass, but this brown and this gold look great together. And then you can see the little pieces of copper kind of peeking through. So I love it. I love these color combinations. These are some great color combinations. I will definitely be adding brown next time again because these, they just came out so cool. And to me, these look more, I don't know, these do look more like Google Earth or Earthy than anything that we've done so far. Congratulations, Nova. You're awesome. You have to decide if you want glass. Sinbad vibes. Yep. No glass. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Thank you, Nova. So there's no glass on that one. We do have some suggestions, or you can name it, of course, however you want to do it. Um, we have Desert Night Sky, Tiffany Chocolate, Melting Milky Way, and Arabian Nights. Totally up to you. Or if you've got your own name. Milky Way? Okay, do you want, okay, just Milky Way? Or Melting Milky Way? Let me make sure I write this down. Just Milky Way? Okay, perfect. Awesome. Yeah, I hope you love this one. This is really pretty. Yeah, this one is really pretty. Like I said, I'll be definitely making, I think I want to make some of these for my house. Look at that. It's so pretty. Brown and blue. I love it. Okay, we did have a request for some other colors for the next one. Um, so let me look at my list, and then after that, we can think of a different color combination if you guys want to try something different. 
The next one that we have is going to be brown, gold, teal, blue, and fuchsia pink. So we've got to figure out which of those colors that we want. Um, so I'm going to get out all the colors and then we can decide which ones work and which ones do not work. Okay, teal. Mm. What can we have that's teal? I'm just going to get, and we can always take a look at these further. I don't know. Is that teal? I don't know. I'm just going to put them there, and then we can decide whether they work or not. And blue, we have so much blue. We have blue coming out of our ears, basically. Let's just put all the blue in the teals. We've also got this light blue. And we also have neon blue. Okay, fuchsia pink. For fuchsia pink, we have... Okay, this says fuchsia. It literally says fuchsia. And then we've got purple neon. But to me, this looks... Wait, let me see if I've got one that's open. To me, this looks fuchsia too. So let's look at it. See? I feel like this is... And then let's look at it compared to this one. Because honestly, like, I don't know, maybe it just looks weird in the bottle. But that looks more fuchsia to me than the one that says fuchsia. But this is what it looks like. See, this almost looks like a neon pink. It literally says fuchsia, but I'm not getting fuchsia from this. And then side by side. All right. And then I've also got this bright violet. Okay, that looks purple. That didn't look fuchsia. All right, there we go. All right, so let's start with our fuchsia. And we can always do both, too. Yeah, see? The other one looks fuchsia. That's awesome, Bex. I wish there was some way we could, like, do, uh, we could teleport into each other's shows. Or, like, talk to people, you know? Like, add people. That'd be cool. Okay, so... All right. So everyone's really liking this one as a fuchsia. I kind of feel the same way. I feel like this looks more pink. But... All right, so there's that. And then we've got brown. Okay, we've got gold. There's gold. So we've got fuchsia and gold. Because gold's pretty much just going to be gold. Um, and then I've got browns. I have one that I can use, but I may not do any splattering right now just because I have uh, my pot roast right next to me on my counter. And I don't want to splatter my pot roast. <laughs> I, I'm very overly excited for the pot roast. It's really sad. I have a sad life. Those are the things I look forward to at my age. I don't know. We're getting a lot of both or we're getting a lot of the Sienna. Okay. All right. Let's just do both. Why not? The more, the better. Okay. So let's go through this. Neon blue. Yes or no? Okay, we're liking the neon blue. All right, do we want either one of these darker blues? Bright blue and tallow blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've probably eaten a lot of paint too. It might explain a couple things. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe the bright blue. We might just have to do all of them. All right, let's do both blues. This painting's gonna be wild. 
which is a good idea. I like using a lot of colors. I think it's fun. Um, okay. Uh, light blue. Do we want the light blue? Yes. We're gonna, we may end up with every blue, which is totally fine with me. Like I said, I'm all for trying things. We've got turquoise. Um, you have to, I think, I'm not sure if you have to be a posh ambassador or not. I want to say yes. Um, but you just sign up for it basically. And then you take the training class and then you can do it. If you want, I'll send you the link after the show. Let me make a note because I know how to get a hold of you. I will send you a, um, I'll send you the link. Because there's a blog post, and then you have to click on this link to sign up to do POS shows. Hey, JR Helms. I hope you've had some really good holidays. Well, I guess it's been Thanksgiving, one holiday. And then, oh, ba, ka, q. Yes, I will definitely send you guys the link today to you and Bex. And if anybody else needs it, let me know. I'm always happy to help you guys out. I don't know everything, but I'm happy to share whatever I know with you guys. we got to spread the posh love. Um, okay, so we did end up wanting that. What about the deep turquoise? It's kind of like a dusty teal. Do you want to try this one? Okay. Um, these, it depends. Like, they're all kind of different. Um, they generally dry pretty glossy. These are all pretty glossy paints, except for the metallics, um, which, you know, will dry, like, with a metallic finish. Uh, they do lose some of the glossiness when they dry, which is why we spray them with our resin sealer to kind of put some of the gloss back because it definitely will lose a little bit of its shine. But these are generally glossy paints, except for the metallics. Um, all right, here's our next colors. Aqua green, yes or no? Thanks, J.R. Helms. You're awesome. Oh, wow. We've got some mixed feelings on this one. Okay. I'm seeing mostly no's. Uh, what about, um, this is sky blue. Kind of like a baby blue. That's coming through. Sure, why not? <laughs> we really, the color scheme that we're doing right now is brown, gold, teal, blue, and fuchsia pink. And we're just trying to pick out uh, which colors we want for it. Like which blues, which uh, pinks, that type of thing. Oh, and browns. Um, and then here's our cerulean blue. I don't know if anybody has any interest in this one. This is what we've got. This is what we've got. So I don't know. We're on painting number, let me look, three. So we're on painting number three. We're doing six today. And then we are also going to do the drip pan because everyone really loves the drip pan even though they always look like Cosby sweaters. <laughs> the drip pans always look like a Cosby sweater. <laughs> but they curd out so cool. Like, they're just fun to do. Because it's like whatever paint. Um, but yeah, this is what we have so far. 
Do we want to add anything or take anything away? This is what we have for blues. We have two darker blues, deep turquoise, light blue. We have a neon blue. We're using both of the browns. We're using gold, and then we've got this fuchsia. It says purple neon, but really, we, we think this is fuchsia. I feel like it's fuchsia. I feel like it's more fuchsia than... This is not fuchsia. But we can add it too if we want. Oh, resin? I've done a little bit with resin, but uh, I end up getting resin all over myself. And like resin, it doesn't wash off. I have to do stuff that washes off because I'm messy as a person. But resin art's so pretty. Okay, let me write that down. Grays. Light blues. White and black. Okay, we'll do that one next. That would be a good combo. Definitely haven't tried that one. So I wrote that down. That'll be painting number four. So... How are we feeling about this? We want dark green. Yeah, I get bubbles too sometimes. Resin, I it's so pretty. I wish I could do a better job. I have, let me show you what I made of resin. This is totally irrelevant, but. I did try resin for a while, so I made all these little things. For example, I made shot glasses. I like the glitter. It's in a bag, but... Like I made these out of resin. And then I also made these cup holder geo things. These are actually kind of cool. I like these. I use them as cup holders. And that's where I got the glass. I got it mostly for the resin, but I've been using it in the pour painting too. And I really like pour painting it. But like I said, I just have to take... I'm actually kind of proud of these. It's so sad. Oh, and here's one with bubbles. See? That one didn't turn out so great. They're like little geode... But yeah, I tried resin for a while and I was like, okay, this is, I'm too messy. I don't wear gloves either. <laughs> I probably should. Um, yeah, the geodes are really fun. I can do these. I have resin dye. So if anybody is interested in these, let me know. Um, but yeah, I have these really pretty pink ones, and they've got glass in them. They're just pretty. They're just kind of fun. These turned out really cute, and I used, like, some different color. I have a uh, resin dye, and I have, like, a mini craft room or mini craft store in my clubhouse. So thank you, Comatose. It's really um, kind of amateur, but I... Um, and then I've also got, like, I have so many resin molds, it's ridiculous. I got, like, every single resin mold I could find. And then I made these, like, little, I don't know, resin knives. They serve no purpose. I don't know why. Like I said, I got every single mold I could find. These are kind of goofy, but I, like, this one's kind of cool. And then I like to put the stuff in the resin. So, if anybody wants to buy a shank... <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, they're fun. I like resin. It's pretty fun to do. And then you can also make stuff like, uh, combs, you know, and I don't know, like little diamonds. I've just, I just try putting different stuff in the resin, but always make a big mess. <laughs> 
Yeah, so those are that'd be awesome, JR Helms. Uh, just let me know. Um, they're they are really pretty little geodes. I'm a big fan of the geodes and the uh, I guess they call them a gates. Probably not saying that right, but I'm always trying to learn how to do something new. Um, and especially with different crafting things. I would probably say I'm a professional crafter, but I don't think I'm a professional any certain type of craft. I think I just know what I like. But crafts are fun. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't even ask if we want cells in this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we ended up with nine colors on this. That's awesome, Bex. I would love to watercolor. You probably could, J.R. Helms. You know, like, I just get on YouTube and try to teach myself. You know, they make videos for everything now. You could teach yourself anything now. I believe that people can learn how to do anything on their own. Let's do half cells. If you guys are okay with that. Yep, every time with YouTube, exactly. That's awesome. That's awesome he can do that. That'll save you some money on car repairs. Okay, so we want to do one-third cells. Okay, so that means three colors. Well, you're definitely great with color, J.R. Helms, so I'm guessing you'd probably be good at art. So, because you've had some really great color uh, combination suggestion. So I wouldn't be surprised if you were pretty good at that. So we'll do the browns and the fuchsias. That's a good skill to have, though. Watercolor? I wish I could do that. I can do the paint by numbers they sell at Michael's. <laughs> I'm pretty good at those. <laughs> I'm just not a good drawer. Okay. And our fuchsia. What is that? Bright purple? Wait, that's purple neon. Pretty sure I have another one of these. It's kind of hard to find stuff sometimes. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice colored pencil and painting. Ooh, geode wall. That would be so pretty. I think they're so pretty. I love geodes. I also did rock tumbling as a hobby for a while. I saw... <laughs> Like I said, I've tried everything. I have a rock tumbler, and sometimes uh, my husband and I will like, go look for rocks. I know that sounds like the lamest thing ever, um, but it's actually kind of fun sometimes. And then I'll put, I'll put the ones I find in the rock tumbler and smooth them out. It's kind of fun. That's a fun hobby, too. Because I used to do... We still... My husband has his uh, voodoo store on Poshmark, which is really like I put my voodoo stuff in there. Um, and uh, so I'll polish like some crystals and put them in there. That way I'm like, I think it's good energy when you make your own crystals. Anyway, I've got too many hobbies. I don't know. 
I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I like to be busy, so. That's a pretty color. This turquoise? That's pretty. All right, we're going to run out of room on this one. <laughs> I'm getting 80s vibes. I think it's the fuchsia and the light blue. Neon blue. Bright blue. There's our brown, or our darker brown. And we just did cells in a third of them. So we did cells in fuchsia and then in the two browns. And there's our blue, or our tallow blue. All right. And this guy is going to be an 11 by 14. Go ahead and dump that out. All right, paint, do your thing. Oh, jewelry. I have beading supplies too, but like, I don't know. I never know what to do uh, when making jewelry. You know, I don't know whether to add the spacer or the, like, I just don't have any natural, um, like I like to make, like I make 3D printed earrings because I have a 3D printer and I like to make like different like 3D printed earrings and I sell those in my store. But as far as like actual pretty jewelry, I don't know if I could do that. I feel like that would be hard. That's cool. You make jewelry. You guys make jewelry. I wish I were better at that. I don't know, like, I always wanted to, like, make flowers out of beads, like, wires. Take wire and, like, make flowers. I don't know. <laughs> Using wire and, like, beads. Like, blue bonnets, you know, like, on a wire. Using, like, blue beads or... I don't know. That'd be cool. I would really like to, um be better at that. You got to try it charms. It's nice and relaxing and just the, uh, it's fun to play with colors. You know, that's been the most fun part. One of the most fun parts for me is to just see what happens when you put different colors together. That's awesome, Teresa. That's what I love about um, this community. There's so many talented people. And it's cool because sometimes I feel like I'm the only one that does crafts, but which is ridiculous. But it's really cool to talk to other like-minded people. Okay, I wasn't sure about this one. I'm not going to lie. I was like, what are they thinking with this? but I love it. And look at those cells. And we only put cells in the browns and the fuchsia. So we only put them in three of the colors. And look at it. That's cool. Jingle cells, jingle cells. You should do both charms and then see which one you like better. And then report back to us which one is more fun. <laughs> That's pretty. I really, really like this one. Look at that. Look at those pops of color. Well, you know what? You should definitely try both and see which one you like better. That's how I feel about it. I'm like a try and figure it out type person. Oh, 
Oh yeah, glass would be, would be pretty in the brown. I think you're right about that for sure. Ooh, it almost looks like butterfly wings or insect wings to me right there. I love that. Like I said, I wasn't really sure about that color combination. I thought, well, I don't know. Yeah. Ice cream on the floor, ground. <laughs> I had a friend whose favorite color was brown. And unfortunately, she passed away. But I always used to just, how is brown your favorite color? What are you talking about? She's like, it's so cool. There's so many different colors of brown. But let me write down that. That's a good suggestion. It does look like ice cream. Ice cream on the floor. Ice cream on the ground. You know what I would call that? I would call that um, uh, ice cream birthday cake. You see animals? Let me see. I see like a neck and a chest of like a turtle. I don't know. <laughs> like this is the neck and this is like the chest. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Unicorn flavored ice cream. My ice cream fell. Everyone's getting ice cream vibes. Shark, fish, and dinosaur. The top. I see something with a head and an eye. Like the head's going this way and there's the eye. The melted cone. The melted cone. I like that. Ice cream and cake. That's a good one. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting it, getting from it too. Wednesday Adams. Oh my gosh! Isn't there a new series on Netflix with Wednesday Adams? I'm wondering if that's any good. Unicorn Narwhal, I like it. Okay, we got some good names here. It was okay. Hmm, I may check it out, I don't know. I can't decide, I'm like, I don't know, what if it's terrible? I love the Adams Family. It's like, like they say, never meet your heroes. I don't know. But I do love Halloween, so it's probably something I should watch. So we'll go ahead and auction this guy off. And that guy is um, 11 by 14. So 11 by 14. Got some really pretty colors in that one. We've got some really good name suggestions for that one. Um, lots of ice cream suggestions for names. Um, but yeah, there's some really pretty cells in that one. We used two colors of brown. We used gold. We used teal. We used a bunch of blues. And we used fuchsia pink. Congratulations, Nova. Yeah. So now you get to decide about glass and about the name, because we need a name. Oh, Atomic Ice Cream, I'll write that down. So we have some suggestions for Nova. Ice Cream on the Floor, Ice Cream on the Ground, Ice Cream Birthday Cake, Unicorn Flavored Ice Cream, My Ice Cream Fell, 
the melted cone, ice cream and cake, unicorn narwhal, narwhal, atomic ice cream. Cookie Monster, that's a good one too. So you got lots of good suggestions on the names. Atomic, perfect. I think that that's pretty accurate as well. Let me write that down, Atomic. Nice name. Now we get to decide on the glass though. I don't know what color you're thinking about glass. You say, you're saying you want it on the brown. And you know we've got uh, pretty much the same colors here. We've got gold, we've got silver slash clear. And then of course we have our blue and our pink. So, let's see what direction we wanna go with this. A bit of glass on the brown, maybe gold circle on the brown. So kind of like this, like you want it in a circle, kind of. Okay, we're going to start out adding just a little, and then we can always add more later. I like that. That's a good idea. Just to kind of get it, like kind of circle around it. All right. I'm going to add, I'm going to show you what we've got so far. And then you tell me if you want more or what you think. I would love, I need some light green glass. I don't have any light green glass. I would love light green glass. I think that would be really pretty. I should try to find it. Because I like emerald and greens. I think that'd be pretty. Okay, we want to add a little bit more. Okay. Um, and where do you want to add the pink glass? In the same place or a different place? We got lots of choices here. Look at these pretty cells. Those are awesome. I love that. The same circle. Awesome. All right, we'll start out just adding a little bit and then we'll try to build our way up. Yeah, I love this circle. I think that looks good. Putting it in a circle like that. All right, let's take a look and then we'll figure out do we need any more. The pink looks pretty on the chocolate brown. Pink and chocolate brown are pretty together. That's a really pretty eyeshadow combination too. You like it? Okay, awesome, Nova. I'm glad you like it. I think the glass is a nice touch for sure. But yeah, look how pretty that is. And then look at those cells. That was a fun color combination. That's a pretty iridescent color. I like that one a lot. All right, let's do our next one. And our next one is going to be grays, light blues, white, and black. Yeah, the crushed glass really gave it a nice uh, effect, I think. So let's gather our grays, our light blues, our whites, and our blacks, and then we'll decide 
we'll decide from there what we want to do. So I'm going to get all these out and then we'll vote on them. Let's see, grays, white, black. So I have regular, um, I have matte white and matte black, and I also have metallic black and metallic white. We can use both or uh, like one or the other. And then gray, I'm going to have to make gray. And then let's see, light blues. For light blues, I'm going to get everything that I think is light blue, and then we can figure out if we're going to add it to the mix. Um, and then... Let's see. Okay, that's it. Because we're making the gray. Now, I also have um, silver, too. Silver could be considered gray. I don't know if that's what we want in this one, but... So let's figure this out. I love Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has a great uh, craft section. All the little crafter square stuff. Metallics. Okay. 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 All right. All right. So we'll use the silver as gray. We'll use the metallics. So let's see. That means you go away. That's matte. Metallic white, metallic black. And we're using silver as gray. Um, and then we have to decide on these blues. So these are the blues that I feel like um, are my light blues. Um, so we'll start with the cerulean blue. Do we want the cerulean blue? We want the light blue? That's kind of what I was thinking too. All right, so you want to try these four colors? And did we want to add this light blue? Okay. Let's try it out. Um, and do we want cells on these guys? Or do we want cells on one of them, two of them, three of them, all of them? No cells. Cool. We're going to try something different for sure. All right. I'm really curious about this color combination. I like blue. I like baby blue. I think it's pretty. And I think blue and white. Um, blue, like white and black, kind of with any color. They always look really classy. And I think it'll look cool with this light blue and silver. So is there a metallic? Black. Here's our light blue. Silver. I can already tell this is going to be pretty. And our metallic white, which is really looking kind of like a pearl color, I feel like. All right. I love Pearl too. Um, not really, Lisa. It really doesn't matter what um what order you do the paints. The more random the better in my opinion. Really no rhyme or reason to how I'm adding them. But there they are in the cup. All right, let's take a look. And this guy is going to be 11 by 14. And let's see what we end up with. Some 
sometimes I try to put the colors in order, like if I want to do like a color gradient, but um, it just depends. Most of the time it's pretty random. I feel like every time I try to like, I don't know, like do it a certain way, I always get, it's kind of like, okay, well, we're just gonna, the colors are like, we're gonna do whatever we want anyway. All right. Let's take a close up look of this. Look at that, isn't that cool? And you can really see the silver and the light blue. That's pretty. All right, so let's see what we end up with here. I know sometimes I uh, want to keep them like that. That's why I really need to get some round canvases. That's really, really pretty, isn't it? I think it's a mixture of the silver and the white. It seemed like it really swallowed up the baby blue. Oh, there it is. There it is. very classy painting. Like I said, these are really classic colors. Anytime you use blue and white with uh, another color, I don't know, I just always love the way it turns out. So let's take a close-up look of this. Yeah, the black is very dominant. Yeah, I'm still mad at Amazon, Sandy. Just, of course, they bring me my paint right after my show's over. What if somebody had needed silver? Like, see, we're using it today. But yeah, this is really, really pretty. I love it. It almost looks like insect wings. Especially this part. I love that part. Um, and the cells are basically um, like little holes in the painting. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to explain them um, without really seeing what they do. Like you really have to see them to understand them. We didn't put cells in this painting, but you can almost see that there are some little cells in it naturally. So that turned out really pretty. Okay, let's close up on that guy. Yeah, the light blue is really subtle. Yeah, these are really beautiful natural cells. It makes me think of like hair that's like permed and not permed. This is when you use a this is when you have a perm and then this is without the perm. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of colors look really good with uh, black and white. Like, a lot of colors. In my opinion. Like, black and white are just really classy. I think black and white and red look pretty. Black and white and gold look pretty. Black and white and rose gold look pretty. It's a good color combination. Okay, so that is painting number four. So we'll go ahead and start this guy off at uh, five bucks. 
And this is 11 by 14, of course. Um, and let me see. We used grays, light blues, white, and black. So that is a pretty uh, classy mixture of colors. We forgot to name it, but I think this one will be easy to name. It looks pretty. I wouldn't say this is marbly. I would say this definitely is more cell-like, if that makes sense. Um, but this is really pretty. It's pretty neutral. It could almost go anywhere. So maybe Vapor. That's a good name. I see, I don't know. I kind of see a couple different things in this. I like insect wings. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web. Siri, we do not need your help right now. Put the Christmas music back on. Oh my gosh, Siri's just randomly interrupting our Christmas jams. All right. Know your role and shut your mouth, Siri. All right. <laughs> oh, she just said, oh, maybe Siri should name the next paintings. Congratulations, J.R. Helms. This was a really pretty color suggestion. I love it. Maybe next time we'll ask Siri for a name. Siri seems to know everything. Okay, so now you get to decide if you want glass, and then you also, um, we have to name the painting. And so far we have vapor and insect wings as suggestions. We should try it. Hey, Siri. Okay, now Siri's going to ignore me. But into the conversation when nobody asked you, and then when I try to ask you something, you're going to ignore me. Okay, let's see. Pink. Red. White. And baby blue. All right, we'll try that next. Sounds good. Moonwalk. That's another suggestion. I like that one. This does remind me of the moon, actually. Blind Cosmic. And you want the white glass around the black? Okay. So do you want it um, like going down this strip? And right here, and right here, or do you just want it like, like this is like a first arm. Let's say that's the second arm, and then that's, let's say section number three. So there's section one, two, and three. So which quadrant? The first area? Okay, let's see. Just the first area, section two. Okay, so just right here. Or do you kind of want it here and here? Okay, just section two. Okay. And you want it clear. So let's add a little bit of clear. And we can always add it to the other section if you want it too later. But this will give you a good idea.
Yes, we're doing Christmas music. Christmas. I love holiday music. Hopefully it doesn't drive everybody nuts, but I love holiday music. Um, like I said, I used to not like it when I was working at the mall because they would play it the day after Halloween, like mercilessly until like after New Year's. It was terrible. But now I don't have to listen to it all the time. I like it. Yay, you've got a spot for it to go. That's awesome. I hope you love it. This is a really, that's a really pretty one. I think the glass looked awesome with it. Um, pink. Okay. Pink is pretty vague. So we're just going to pull out all the pinks that we have. And go from there. Or wait, did I already get that one? No, okay. Um, there's another pink we have. Oh, here it is. It's more of a peach, in my opinion. Okay, red. We've got... We've got three reds. And pink, red, white. Okay, so the white we have metallic and matte, and then we have baby blue, which pretty much I feel like this is the only baby blue we have, so we can cross that one on our list. All right. Good. I'm glad everyone feels relaxed. We're gonna take we're gonna just take a moment to relax and look at the beautiful colors. Looking at colors is relaxing. And we've got our baby blue or sky blue, which whatever. Same thing, sky blue, baby blue. Um, and then we've got white. Do we want matte or metallic white? Or both? Okay, we want to do matte, and then, and then, we've got three reds. I'm going to hold them all together so you can see the, di the differences. So we've got, starting from the left, we've got magenta, we've got bright red, and we've got crimson. Okay, it's unanimous as, and then, and then we've got a lot of pinks. So, so far we've got blue, red, and white. Um, so we'll go through the pinks one by one and we can just say yes or no. So this is a light pink. To me, this is definitely a peach. Okay, no, no peach. This is pink. I would say this is like a light pink, like a baby pink. Okay, we like it. Okay, purple neon. And like I said, this is like a pink to me, but I don't know if you guys want to use it. No. Um, it says magenta deep, but this is a burgundy. This is what we use as our burgundy. No burgundies. Okay. And then we also have, this is called smoky pink. I would say this is like a dusty rose, like a salmon type color. No. Okay, we maybe yes. Okay, we might like it. Okay. 
Um, and then we've got fuchsia. This looks like a neon pink to me. This doesn't really look like a fuchsia. I don't know why, but this doesn't really look like a fuchsia. Yes. Okay. We're going to use that guy. And then what about our neon pink? No. Okay. Everyone's pretty much on the same page with this one. All right. Do we feel like this needs anything else? We've got... Jingle cells, jingle cells. Okay, we'll do cells. Okay, so everybody wants to add another color. Do we want to do a teal or an aqua? Let me see what we've got for that. I've got a turquoise. I've got a deep turquoise. I've got an aqua green. The blue that is on the side. Did I already grab the blue? Okay, turquoise. Okay, yeah, I've been pretty sure that one was right here. I don't know, I've got paints all over the place. <laughs> kind of a mess. All right, so we're liking this color combination. I know the jingle cells, Ugh, it's gonna be so bad. I'm like, I've been singing jingle cells in my sleep. Jingle cells, jingle cells. Jingle cells. Okay. And do we want jingle cells? I'm seeing a lot of yeses. We want jingle cells. Okay. Do we want half or do we want a third or all? We're liking this third, or none. I guess that's an option too, but I think everyone said they wanted cells. Okay. Um, when I use multiple cups, it's usually because I'm mixing the colors in with the um, cells, the things that make cells. For example, like this is silicone oil, which makes cells. And then I also have this, um, uh, it's a, called a cell medium. And so when I use the cups, it's to mix them in together because they work better when they're mixed together. Um, and so. Okay, let me write that down. Black. Cobalt. Red. Copper. That sounds like a good color combo. Should definitely try that out. Okay, we'll do that one next for painting number six. Those are some fun colors. Okay, so we want cells and it seems like we want a third cells. So we're using, so we've got seven colors. So let's say we do cells on two of them. Um, do we wanna do cells? Which two colors do we wanna do the cells on? Or does it matter? We've got aqua, red, sky blue, pink, fuchsia, um, smoky pink, and uh, matte white. Okay, pink and blues. All right, let's do a pink and a blue then. That sounds good. Sky blue. And let's do our smoky pink. Jingle cells, jingle cells. We're going to use silicone drops in the light blue. And then we're going to use our cell medium in the smoky pink. All right, then we're going to mix them together.
So we're using cells in these two colors. We're not using them in those two colors. So we're gonna go ahead and mix these guys together. And we're just gonna randomly put these colors together. This is, like I said, a lot of these uh, color combinations are things that I haven't tried, so. I definitely haven't tried this color combination. So I'm very interested to see what happens here. And I'm just kind of randomly putting the colors in. There's really no order to this. No rhyme, no reason. Like I said, I've tried to like put colors and it just does whatever it wants anyway, so. We just let it do its thing. Here's our fuchsia. And we've got our pink. This is gonna be super interesting. Like I said, this is not one that we've tried. All right, let's take a look at our cup. This looks cool. Yes, Kberg, that was natural cells. We did not use any drops or any cell medium on that guy. Let me write that one down. We'll do that one on the next show. That'll be the first painting. I just took a screenshot of the snowflakes. That's a, that, I like that idea. That's a really good idea. And look at the cells already forming. Isn't that cool? How cool is that? Is there a cup of color there. Okay, stay on there. All right, this is interesting. Okay, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> you know, like the three color toothpaste. Yeah, this is interesting. We're gonna call this one Colgate. I don't know, it may be a different, I think it's, it isn't Colgate, it's like. All right, let's take an up close and personal look at this guy. Clown's makeup. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what this is gonna end up looking like, but I like it. We've definitely already got some names. You could definitely see some cells in this one. Ooh, it almost looks like pink alligator skin right there. I'll do a close up. I think a pink alligator would be really pretty. Or crocodile, I don't know. Crocodile, alligator, whatever. I like this one. This is pretty. This is really, really unique. This almost looks like the inside of a shell. All right, let's take a close up and personal look at this guy. Oh wait. Like I said, I really see like some scales in this. That looks cool. 
Um, I put in, t I put two of the colors, um, cells. You only use cells in two of the colors. Healthy lung, <laughs> human lungs, healthy lung. I'm going to contribute my name, which is Colgate. Um, the natural cells just, it's because of what the paint is made out of. Um, you know, cause this is just regular acrylic paint with a mixing medium. And so a lot of times a mixing medium will have some silicone in it. And so, uh, that's where the natural cells come from. Aquafresh. That's it. I'm scrolling back up to make sure I didn't miss any names. Aim. We've got lots of toothpaste names. Clowns makeup. Heart surgery. Blood cells. Jingle cells, jingle cells. Jupiter. Yeah, I really like the way these colors came out, for sure. I think they're awesome together, too. Coral. Okay, and I got human lung, healthy lung. Strawberry milk. Okay, I think I caught up on these. Red ice. Pink opal. Arizona sky. Oh my God, J.R. Helms with the science names. <laughs> Colonoscopy. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> it does look very sciencey. Okay, coral reef. All right, we got lots of good names. Let's take a close up look of it. Stay, please. There we go. And this is really pretty. Look at these. These kind of do look like little blood cells or something. Intestinal mucosa. Oh my God. <laughs> I like the science names. They're perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is really pretty. I like the red and the pink together. Isn't that pretty? That's what I was talking about. Looks kind of like lava or crocodile skin. You can see those um, little pink lines in there separating them. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like this. I like these cells at the top. And we only did cells on two of the colors, so... Yeah, the aqua's pretty. It definitely looks cool. That was a good idea. I'm glad we can add that guy in. So let's see. This is painting number five. So we'll go ahead and start this guy off. Um, we've got lots of good name suggestions for this one. This is a 12 by 12. And the names that we have so far are Pink Opal, Red Ice, Strawberry Milk, Arizona Sky, Colonoscopy, Rose Colored Glasses, Coral Reef, Human Lungs, Healthy Lung, Colgate, Aquafresh, AIM, Clowns Makeup, Heart Surgery, Blood Cells, Jupiter, and Coral. So these are some pretty good names that you guys came up with on this one. This is funny. Congratulations, M. Stag. So now you have to name it. And if you don't like any of our names, that's fine. We don't take it personally. We just like to come up with suggestions. You could call it whatever you want. So you get to pick a name um, for your painting. 
Oh, and then you get to decide if you want to add glass or not to this guy. Taja. I hope I'm saying that right. Taja. 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 God. I'm from Texas. I can't pronounce anything. It's so sad. I'm such a hick. Um, okay. Congratulations, Taja. And you want to call it Heart of the Matter. That's a cool name. Love that. Let me write that down. And you can decide if you want to add glass to your painting or not. And if you need for me to show you um, the colors of glass, I can definitely do that. So, so that way, you know what you're going to call it. Okay, let's take a look at the glass. So these are your choices for the glass. Um, we have, uh, basically this is like a silver or a clear. And if you just want to tell me where you want it sprinkled, or maybe you don't want glass, totally up to you. Um, but these are our choices. I would say this is either silver or clear. And then I have these smaller glass pieces that are kind of like an old, like an antique gold color. And then I also have uh, like a baby pink glass. And then, of course, we have our baby blue colored glass. And those are going to be your choices. Baby blue. Okay, now do you want it kind of sprinkled along where the baby blue is um, in the painting? Like, for example, we could, like, sprinkle it along here, maybe across there, or do you just kind of want it in one section? Um, like, maybe up here and down here, there's a little bit of blue. It's really up to you. Um, we've got quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So... However you want to do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to just kind of subtly put it into some of the blue here and right here. I think that would be really pretty. And we're just going to start by adding a little. Because we can always add more. This looks really pretty. This blue is a great choice. Just a touch right here. All right, I'm going to do a close-up of this, and if you want me to add more, let me know. Um, or if you feel like it needs it um, somewhere else, let me know. And so there it is with the glass pieces, the blue glass pieces. That looks really pretty. And then we put it down here as well. Okay, perfect. Because, yeah, it's always easy to add more, but to take it away, not so much. So I try to kind of sprinkle it on, and then we can just add as we go. Um, and then we already named the painting, so heart of the matter. It will take 24 to 48 hours to dry, and then I will need to spray it with our sealer spray, which I use a resin spray and sealer for this. So that way, if you need to clean the painting, you can just kind of wipe it off with a damp cloth or um, just kind of, you know, wipe it off how you would a TV uh, monitor. So, yeah, this is what it ended up looking like. That's really pretty. And I hope you love your painting. Those are some fun colors to do. We've got some really good color combinations there. And then our last one is going to be black, cobalt, red, and copper, which I think will be really lovely.
And then of course we're doing our drip pan, which should be very interesting today. And I hope that you love it. You guys, my pot roast, it smells so good. Mm. Okay. All right, so we've got black, cobalt, red, and copper. So let's get our options together for that one. Because we have choices and decisions. Okay, see, we've got all of our stuff written down here. Um, cobalt. Red. I think this is going to be pretty. Okay. So, um, our choices, we've got our choices here, um, together. We've got metallic or matte black. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. I would totally give you some pot roast if you came and ate over here. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so we'll do our, let's see, we'll do our matte black. And then we've got our cobalt blue, which is our metallic cobalt blue. This is so pretty. This color is just gorgeous. This reminds me of like a peacock or something. It's one of my favorite colors. Oh, and just FYI, I did, um, in case anybody, I do have this iridescent mixing medium. So we can make any color kind of like a, uh, with a pearl finish with this. And then I did, I was able to find metallic, uh, purple. Cause I'm always looking for every color in a metallic. So just FYI, we have those colors now. And then copper, copper is going to be copper. Um, and then we've got our choices on our reds, which are the same as last time. So, let me raise this up. Okay, so this is what, let me see what the names are on these guys. We'll look at them up close. So, from left to right, we've got magenta, crimson, and bright red. And these are the differences. Yeah, everybody really likes the crimson. I do too. I think this crimson is really, really pretty. This is definitely, um, I feel like more of a primary red color. Primary red. These have um, different, I think, undertones. This is more of a blue undertone, I think. So let's mix these guys together. Do we want cells on these guys or... Do we want natural cells, half cells? Um, I get my paints at Michael's and all most of my paints actually, um, they're ready mixed. So they're already mixed together. Um, so I don't really have to mix them, but when I mix my own paints, I use a little bit of silicone drops, uh, like one or two silicone drops, just a little. And then I use uh, Floetrol, which you can buy at Home Depot. And that's how you turn regular acrylic paints into pouring paints. So there are a lot of different ways to do it. People mix them a lot of different ways. I've heard of people using uh, dish soap to make cells. Um, I'm not sure. Like there's just so many different ways to do it. I've never tried the dish soap, but There's a lot of ways that people do it. Um, okay, let's do natural cells. So let's mix these guys randomly together. I think this is a pretty color combination.
And this is one that I've definitely never tried before, so that's always fun for me. Because I, I tend to get stuck in a pattern where I just use blue and copper on everything, so... All right, let's take a look at our cup here. And you can't see the cobalt blue, but it's definitely in there. It's definitely there, it's just buried in the cup. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, this is uh, going to be painting number six, and this is 11 by 14. I'm really curious about this guy. Look how cool the red and the black look together, though. That is cool. And I can see the copper too. The blue, I can't see yet. Oh yeah, and I also do use, uh, and I don't, like sometimes instead of Floetrol, I'll just use regular pouring medium. You mix this with acrylic. It just depends on what I happen to have in supply that day and all right, let's see if the blue comes out. I love this. I would like to do a painting uh, black, red, and copper. I think that would be cool. I am loving this copper. And you could see the blue definitely trying to come out. You guys see the blue? Ooh, look at it. It decided to come out. Awesome. Sometimes I just ugh, get so irritated when some of the colors get swallowed up. But it looks like we didn't have to worry in this case. But yeah, I would love to do another one, just like black, copper, and red. That's amazing. But um, this cobalt blue looks really pretty, too. It really gives it something extra. That is beautiful. That's almost like fire and ice or something like that. I love it. Ooh, and then look at that little circle there on the end. That's cool. All right, this is really, really pretty. I love this. That is gorgeous. Yes, I'm getting fire. That's exactly what I'm thinking too. Fire and ice. 100%. And let's see what that settles down to. I love that. That is so unique. That is such a unique color combination. Let's see. We write that down and we use the matte black for that one. And we ended up using the crimson red. Yeah, that's definitely a combination I would do again. And let's take a close-up look at this guy. Yeah, I really love this one too. Look how pretty that is. And it's got like these little kind of like slivers under the black. You can kind of see there. And then I like this little edge right there. I think that looks neat. And then you can see the red coming through the copper and kind of working its way up right there. This one is really pretty. That's so artsy, I love that. And let's get a close up of this guy. They take about 24 to 48 hours to dry, 
And then it can also take a little extra time for um, the spray and the sealer that I use on the top. And this is a nice, um, really glossy spray uh, because when this painting dries, it will lose a little bit of the glossiness. And so we add the glossiness back by adding the spray and then um, it also makes it easy to clean because otherwise uh, like everything will stick to it, like dust and, and everything like that. Um, this is regular acrylic paint, but I do use a resin spray just because I like the way it looks on the top of the painting. And I think it really uh, protects the painting well. That's really, really pretty. Okay, let me write down our names here. It looks like everybody likes fire and ice. And... Lava into Ocean Trench. Light in my darkness. That's cute. Fire takes over. Melting ice. The cavern. That's a good one. It does kind of look like the inside of a cavern. I just love that. Ember reflection. We've got some really good names for this one. I love this. This is so pretty. The beautiful things. Yeah, this one is a beautiful painting. These colors are so awesome. But I love copper, so anything that's got copper on it usually turns out really beautiful. Sunrise blues. Oh, that's pretty too. Yeah, we've got a lot of good names for this one. That's so pretty. So let me auction this guy off. This is painting number six, and this is an 11 by 14. Um, and then we can name it and do glass or not do glass, however you guys wanna do it. But this is gorgeous. And we ended up using black matte, cobalt blue metallic, the crimson red, and copper. So this one is really pretty. Um, I see fire and ice in this. I think all the names could be really accurate and descriptive though. Um, but yeah, this one is just gorgeous. I love the black. It looks like it's kind of like these colors really stand out in the black. Um, and the metallics are so pretty together. I think we should definitely do another copper and red together because that that is just so pretty right here, that effect. So love this color combination. Got to put a star next to this one. This is definitely a winner. Um, so pretty. This is a really unique one, too. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. You never know how they're going to turn out. And I thought that this would be really pretty, but I had no idea it was going to look like this. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, this is a pretty one. I'm glad everybody likes it because this is a really, really pretty one. They definitely always are one of a kind, but this color combination is just lovely. Um, I definitely see fire and ice, but we had lots of good suggestions for it. Lava in the ocean trench, light in my darkness, fire takes over, melting ice, the cavern. Congratulations, Alicia. This is so pretty, I love it. What a cool color combination. Congratulations, I hope you love this painting. This is so unique. And so now you have to name the painting, which we do have some really good suggestions for you. Or you can name it whatever you want. You don't have to take our suggestions. Oh, thanks Evan, Rose. Thank you for following my closet. I'm so glad you enjoy it. 
this is fun for me too. This is one of the best parts of my day. So one of my favorite parts of the day, everybody's so nice. And I just like chatting with everybody and doing these paintings and coming up with these good ideas together. It's pretty relaxing and it's nice because these pieces are really customized. Ember reflections. That's pretty. So let me highlight that. So we've chosen ember reflections. And then you get to decide if you want to add glass to the painting or if you want to leave it as is. It's totally up to you. And if you need me to explain um, how the glass works, just let me know. Yeah, that's pretty. I think Ember Reflections is a good name. It's pretty accurate. It is really fun to watch, um, especially because you never know how it's going to turn out. You know, it's uh, it's kind of an instant gratification thing because you turn the cup over and you get to see the results right away which is always really fun. But yeah, this is gorgeous. I just love this color combo. I'm definitely going to be doing this color combo again. That is so pretty. I just love that. And then I'm going to get to check my delicious pot roast I've been making all day in my crock pot. Super excited. My life is so sad. I get excited about pot roast, but. Okay. There's that. And this is a 12 by 12 and we're going to do our drip pan. Oh wait, let me adjust my camera. Hey elk. I will be back tomorrow. Um, I need to, I will try to schedule the show tonight so that if anybody wants to join, they know what time it'll be because I'm not sure what time I'm going to do my show tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to try to schedule it tonight. I made a pot roast elk. I'm like so excited about my pot roast. All right. There's our drip pan painting. Let's take a close up look at that guy and swish it around a little bit. We gotta see. This is pretty cool. 
Oh my gosh, me too. Pot roast is so good. And it's also great because you put it in a crock pot and it just sits there and you don't have to do anything. You just let it sit there and the house smells good. Okay. This is very trippy. I'm definitely seeing copper in this and I'm seeing turquoise. Yeah, this is cool. I love this. This is so unique. The drip pans always look awesome though. They always make really unique paintings. Um, but I see a lot of copper. I see pinks. I see, of course, all the colors we used, but I would say turquoise and the pink and the copper were really the ones that are standing out here. And I see the uh, baby blue as well. And these are fun because people see a lot of pictures in these. So let's do a close up of this guy. See what we ended up with here. I always feel like these paintings look like um, the inside of a shell or a sweater. An 80 sweater. Oh, yes. They do. They look um, definitely a lot of different shapes and colors in these. They're so cool. A lot of people see different things in these, and then sometimes we all see the same thing which is really cool. The pink with the, f a hog with flaming hair. <laughs> yeah, these are so pretty. These are really creative. Um, people love the drip pans. They're some of my favorites too, because um, like these are just random colors. I, I didn't pick these. These are just and they always come out really pretty. It's a gorgeous copper. Oh, good. You see it too? Oh, yeah. No kidding. I don't know if anybody could paint this by hand. It's so random. But this one is especially pretty. Yeah, you could see a bunch of faces in these for sure always see faces and then you know it's um there always are a couple little cells that develop because we did use um cells in some of our paintings and so for example there's a cell there and then there's a cell there and there and you could see it'll form a couple little cells there's another one but yeah that's what that guy looks like it's really pretty Those drip pan paintings always turn out cool. So let's see, we gotta write down the names. So that's important. Starry Night. Hog with hair. Um, Sierra Geode. Pollock. Chaos. Jupiter Rings. I think I got all the ones. I like that name. How about hog with a mohawk? <laughs> We're all mad here. 
Is that a statement or a name for a painting? I think it could be either one. Um, we're all mad here. I just write them all down. I like all these names. When pigs fly. Yes, I love Alice in Wonderland. That's why I was saying we're all mad here. I don't know. Are you talking about us as a group um, or the painting? <laughs> I love Alice in Wonderland. My favorite Alice in Wonderland is the one from like 1985. It was the TV special with Natalie Gregory. And they've got like the Jabberwocky. I don't know if anybody remembered that. They had a bunch of cameos from people that from back in the 80s and stuff. That's my favorite uh, version of Alice in Wonderland. There's so many good ones though. Yeah, there's a lot of different things in this painting for sure. Let me zoom down on it. That's what's so fun about doing the drip pan. The live action from 2010. I don't know if I've seen that one. I need to look that up. Let's see, 2010. Cool. Oh, yeah, the Johnny Depp one. That was so good. His uh, makeup was so good in that. The Mad Hatter. They really did a good job on that one. And all the costume changes. Oh, it was so good. I was so excited for when that one came out. Okay, so we've got some suggestions. Well, I guess we'll auction it off first and then we'll figure out the name. Because we have some really good suggestions here. So we'll go ahead and start that guy off. Um, and that one is a 12 by 12. So keep that in mind. The Melted Clocks of Dali. I love that. Clocks of Dali. And that's got some really pretty colors in it. I really see the pinks. Um, I see the deep turquoise and the black together, which are really pretty. And this is definitely a plethora of color. Plethora? I don't know if that's a good word. An explosion of color. So we've got a lot of good names for this guy, too. Starry Night, Hog with Hair, Sierra Geode, Pollock, Chaos, Jupiter Rings. We're all mad here. When Pigs Fly and the Melted Clocks of Dali. Ooh, congratulations. You won the painting. And by the way, I do bundle these, so I'll be happy to put these together for you. So that way, um, there's only one shipping charge. Because nobody has time for that. And I'll do that right after the show. So that way, um, it doesn't charge up your credit card and stuff. And you like when pigs fly? Oh, perfect. I love it. And would you like to add glass to your painting? Or would you like to keep it without? Without? Okay, perfect. So let's take another close-up look of this guy. Really, really cool. And that's what I love about the drip pan paintings. They're so random, you know, and they always look so pretty. Awesome. I love it. So I'll put that bundle together for you and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be posting the time of my show. It'll probably be about the same time as it was today. Just because I have to go to Michael's, I need to get uh, more burgundy paint because we're almost out of that color so we got to make sure we have all of our colors otherwise it's no fun oh thanks capital i'm really glad you guys enjoyed it and i really thank you guys so much for your kindness and your generosity and i really um love it when all you guys come in here so i love and appreciate you i will definitely enjoy my pot roast you guys have a wonderful night and i'll see you tomorrow